Okay, welcome to this episode of video drawn by DIY3DTech.com. We got, we're out here on Lake Huron again. We've got a small Coast Guard cruiser coming down. So we're going to put the drone up in the air. We're going to get some video. And uh, we've already checked hover, so we're good to go. And so we kind of see it out there out by the buoys coming down lake. And uh, I don't want to get too close since it is a Coast Guard boat. So I just want to get some video of it. We'll track it down a little bit. It's moving pretty good clip. Oh no, that's the pilot boat. Sorry, that's not the Coast Guard boat. That's the pilot boat. I've talked about the pilot boat before. So uh, yeah, 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 I know you're complaining. Why didn't you complain last time? So this is the pilot boat. I've talked about this. Uh, so uh, he must have been dropping uh, pilot off for a salty. So uh, those are ships that come out the St. Lawrence Seaway and uh, they need a pilot to uh, to uh, transverse the river that he's heading back down to. So he may be heading back to his base or uh, hop on another ship. So that's pretty cool, caught the pilot boat. So kind of heading out that way a little bit. Let me just track him down. We need to get some altitude though. I don't want to go over the Coast Guard base. So, so we'll take them up a little bit more. And we got the wake from them. So anyways, that was the pilot boat. So we caught him on video a little bit. I, for some reason I'm getting with that um, polarizing filter in the sun, I'm getting some warning messages. Let's uh, Let's fly this back around, back up this way towards the, uh, let's head out towards this buoy. Since we got a lot of battery left, we'll just kind of take it out that way. Boy, he's th throwing off a pretty good size wake there. And we're just kind of centering on that buoy. And we're out there about 500 feet or so. And we're about 120 feet up. So we got a lot of battery left. So we're going to venture around out there a little bit. And uh, we're going to kind of gimbal down on this guy as we get closer. And get out there, ways. But still, real good on battery. Since I get so much battery, I'm going to try going for the, uh, looks like my signal is still doing somewhat good. I'm going to, I'm going to head out there for the red buoy and just checking my surroundings, making sure they're clear. I'm going to head for the red buoy and uh, then circle around and bring it back. So that's going to be probably out there about 2,000 feet or so. I'm up... Uh, about 126 feet. And uh, we're closing on this guy. I've got the, I got a gimbal down a little bit, so it's not looking directly at the horizon. And uh, you can see a fishing boat out there. I'm out 1,300 feet. I'm guessing I'm going to have to get probably about closer to 2,000 to get out there. Eh, maybe not quite 2,000. I'm on to about 1,500 feet. And uh, we're closing on it pretty good. And 
Still a lot of good battery. And make sure no ships are coming. And we're getting out there. Uh, I'm going to take it down a little bit. I want to be careful. And we're coming down rather fast, I'm surprised. Okay, I'm down to about 80 feet. Kind of pushing out. Picking up a lot of glare off of it. I get down around 60 feet or so. I'm just taking her down. I'm about 65, 64, 63. And I want to take it out a little bit more. Gimbling her down. Getting kind of burned out sun-wise. Let's see if I move the back this way. I'm getting fancy sticking here, folks. Look at the blue of the water change with the polarizer. So I'm just kind of yawing around it. I'm actually manually doing this, not uh, automated. Look at the light kind of burn it out from the back. Just kind of... Kind of making sure. Number two, red buoy. Yeah, you can just see how the, uh, as the sun's becoming backlit, how that, the auto white balance and auto exposure is kind of really changing things. Getting a little lost in my frame here. Well, there it is. We made it. And we're almost 2,000 feet, so I was right. So we're going to be coming up on low battery. I'm going to click this into sport mode. And I'm going to say return to home. And kick it up. Because I'm way back here, folks. Way, 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 way back here. So, I'm going to bring it home. I should have plenty of battery. I'm not really nervous about this one. Um, so, it's coming back pretty quick. This is go home. So it's doing about uh, 22 miles an hour. For some reason I'm getting some kind of exclamation point uh, by velocity. I don't know why it keeps coming and disappearing. I'm not sure. Um, but man, this thing's moving. Sport mode just really does it. Look, and I'm almost all the way back and I haven't even hit low battery yet. So, uh, yeah, I'm within 300 feet or so. And we're bringing her back down. She's coming in. She's going to come in for a landing. Just kind of check my surroundings here. Everything looks pretty good. And... And she's coming down. Slowly but surely. Wow. Still just beautiful video. I love that filter. I love that filter better than the Polar Pro. I'm surprised I'm saying that. Um, 
that a cheap Chinese filter could do that well. And here we are. So I'm going to save out the video. And we're going to let this baby land. So anyways, great flight of the Spark on Lake Huron. We got the pilot boat out there. We flew the red buoys. We had a good time. She came back. Hey, all is good. So anyways, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe. I know you want to subscribe. And make sure you hit that notification so you see new videos when I put them out. I put them out on a regular basis. You know, I'm not one of these, uh, you know, just a couple videos and then leave you guys hanging. So always publishing new content. Hit me up in the comments below if you got questions about anything you see or do or got just questions in general. Let me know what you're thinking about for lunch and I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.